so much for waiting for me, and I'm privileged and honored that you did so. I can tell you I had a very interesting day. And, you know, it's, it's running for, for, for uh, yeah, any office is yeah, just, yeah. is just, it's so exciting. I mean, you know, cause you, especially if you're a people person, you know, and you love people, and that's what it's all about, and it's just like, that's what I've been doing, and I just love it, and thank you. My name is Marie Delaney, and I'm a resident of Frankfurt. I've lived here since the early 90s, and very happily so, and I have um, quite some accomplishments that we have done over the years in this community, and I believe that the accomplishments such as the New Frankfurt Community Wide, the CDC, Overington House, you know, the civic associations and all those that I've been involved in have led me to believe that I wanted to broaden my horizons and, and, and just move more into more citywide and be able to take the uh, abilities that I have into the city. I'm running for city commissioner on the Republican side of the ticket. And some of you may know that the city commissioner's office is Democrat and Republican. And the reason why they do that is very obvious, because we have Democratic voters and Republican voters. It's a two-party system. And basically, we need folks from both sides to keep it balanced. And that way, it's, it's, it's a balanced approach. And I'm sure that you know that there's a lot of issues that are going on now, and all the offices going on. And I don't want to talk about those things. I just want to talk about what we need to do. The commissioner's office is a unique office. It oversees over 97 employees. There's two, two things on the budget. Some folks think it's an $8.8 .8 million budget. What I've been reading in the history that I've found, it's an $11 million budget. So whichever, it's still a large budget. We'll get a real fine, we'll find out if it's eight or 11, but I understand it to be 11. It's a huge budget. It has, like I said, 97 employees and it has three main offices. It has the office in City Hall, and then they have an office on Spring Garden, and then they have a warehouse where they house all the machineries. And pretty much what the city commissioner does is they oversee all of that, plus the 97 employees that they oversee. They take care of all, anything to do with voting. Voting registrations, absentee ballots, the machinery, anything and everything to do with voting. And of course, the voting is the very essence why everybody here, everybody here, everything that we're doing is for the vote. So I would say that once we have people go out and get the vote, don't you think that the vote should be protected? The integrity of the vote should be protected. And that's something that we should really think about is, is that vote protected? Once somebody makes a vote, that vote has to be protected. And that's what the city commissioner's office is about. Currently, right now, there's two Democratic city commissioners, and one Republican. And why, well, you know, I guess you know the reasons why. There are more Democrats than there are Republicans, so that would keep it balanced. I'm running for the Republican side. What I propose to do, and, and all the research that I've done, and all the reading up that I've done, is the fact that I find the city is old. It's, it's so old, and everything they do is adequated. They have the machines, the, the paperwork, everything they do is, is so old. And what we need to do is we need to modernize our city. We need to bring our city to be efficient. We, we, one of the suggestions is, and one of the ideas is, to take the paperwork that's done when you go down and all that paperwork that you do, is to get that on CDs and get that in PDF files so that we can stay at home and go on and get the paperwork we need and print it off in our own houses instead of having to run down to City Hall, which would save an enormous amount of paper, an enormous amount of ink, would save the city so much money, it's not even, they don't even know how much money that would save. The other thing that I'm supposed to do is to bring in awareness. You know, a lot of our folks don't understand voting, especially our young people. They don't understand the importance of voting. Do you know that only 20% of the city shows out to vote? Now that's awful sad. I mean, think about it. You got a city, how much does our city bring in a year? What's the, what's the budget of the city a year? How much do we, the income? Yeah. The budget is. The budget. The, the, the budget is three, four, three point four uh, billion. Billion, billion, billion dollars. So three point four billion dollars. Now, understand some billion dollars. Our city is is not it's not chump change, guys. We are a very 
big city. We bring in a lot of revenue. We have a lot of revenue. Well, uh, our income, we're the 25th largest nation right. in, uh, of all the nations in the world. We're number 25. We bring in $388 billion worth of income each year is generated by the city of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. When you look at the list of 181 nations, Philadelphia comes out number 25 right. just by itself. Right. And, and what happens is we only have possibly 20% of our citizens voting. So 20% of the people are ruling the other 80%. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but there's something wrong with that. Mm -hmm. There's a big thing wrong with that. And I would suppose and I would say to you that the commissioner's office needs to take that seriously and begin to engage its citizens and begin to open up and, <coughs> and engage them into what is the voting process? Why is it important that we vote? And that's something that the city, that the that I would do as a city commissioner. I think that is of paramount importance. And the <coughs> other issue is the, of course, the intimidation, the transparency and the intimidation. Now we all know the stories about the intimidation. And I will say to you that there should be no intimidation anytime. It should be a zero tolerance. And the commissioner's office should stand by that and should really take a zero tolerance attitude towards that. So that's pretty much the issues and that's pretty much what we can do in the office. And, and um, I will say to you that as a city commissioner, I will look into all these areas and I will definitely be able to, number one, bring it to modernization, bring us into a first class city that we should be, have things state of the art, have accuracy and, and have efficiency all the things that are necessary for this city to not only be who we are, but to move above and to move forward into the next generation. Because our generation, the younger generation, is not attached to what we're doing. And we have to rescue them. We have to reach out to them. And we have to get them involved. We have to get, and not only just the younger generation, we have people that are disfranchised because they really don't understand how important they are and how important their vote is. And the vote should be important to each and every one of us. Yeah, especially Our, especially when so little people come yeah, out to vote. 20, vote that 20% is, so is a important. high number. That's a high vote. They're happy when they get 20%. They, a lot of times they don't even get that. And that's something out of everything that we should be doing. We should be actively engaging our citizens and our younger folks to get them engaged so that they become part of our system. So that our city and our next generation will move into a more forward-thinking city. Because, folks, I don't want to ever leave Philadelphia. We are a wonderful city. We're a dynamic city. We have so much potential. And I want to be involved in, in, in bringing that potential to another dimension and working with people that are in City Hall and people that are in the communities and all that. I know one thing can be said about me. I am a team player. I work with the city. I work with the folks in the city. I love my city and I love my community and I will make it excellent, excellent. Everything I do is with excellence, city commissioner. And I know some of you cannot vote for me in the primary and I can understand that. And not what I want to hear, but I can understand that. And I'll take that, but I will say one thing. When I'm on the other side of the primary, please vote for me because you can vote for who you want on the Democratic side and then you can go over and vote for me on the Republican side. My button number is 18 and um, that's about all. You can ask any question you want.